propositions. That's today's lesson. I'm gonna I'm gonna record over a PowerPoint presentation. Propositions. Um, a proposition is a statement which may be true or false. Questions and opinions are not propositions. If you have to ask who or what is being referred to, the proposition is indeterminate. We're only interested in propositions that are either true or false. And the truth value of a proposition is whether it is true or false. Which of the following statements are propositions? If they are propositions, are they true, false, or indeterminate? 20 divided by 4 equals 80. This is a proposition, but it's false. 25 divided times 8 equals 200. This is also a proposition, and it's true. Where is my pen? This is a question, so it's not a proposition. Your eyes are blue. Well, since we don't know really who your is, it is a proposition, but it's indeterminate. We represent propositions by letters such as P, Q, and R. For example, P, it always rains on Tuesdays. Q, 37 plus 5 equals 42. R, X is an even number. Let me move this. Sorry about that. The negation of a proposition P is not P, and it is written as symbol P. That does, that's a symbol for not. The negation of P, it is raining, is not P. It is not raining. The negation of P, I am not from Bali, is not P. I am from Bali. Please remember, in English, we do not use double negatives. I guess you could say, it is not the case that I am not from Bali, but we just say, I am from Bali. In, and I want you to think about how would we interpret, interpret not not P. If P is true, then not P is false. If P is false, then not P is true. Let's take a look at some exercises. Which of the following statements are propositions? If they are propositions, are they true, false, or indeterminate? Well, let's look at A. 11 minus 5 equals 7. That is a proposition, but it's false. B, C, and D have that weird symbols, but that's easy. 12 is an element of the odd numbers. That is a proposition, but it's not true. 3 fourths, 3 fourths is an element of the rationals. Q stands for quotient or rational numbers. That's true. What about D? 2 is an element of the, of the is not an element of the rationals? Well, since I can write 2 as 2 over 1, it is a rational number. Um, take a little a look at all of these. Some of it might be a little advanced. See what you can do. On the next page, um, they want you to write down the negation, and then they want you to determine if the proposition or its negation is true. Once again, we haven't done some of the stuff in, in geometry, but you can look it up. See, see what's coming up. Um, yeah, all rectangles are parallelograms. That's true. All rectangles are not par parallelograms. No, that's false. Um, same idea here. You're exploring a lot of algebra and a lot of uh, phrases. Take a, take a look. You have the whole weekend. You have, this is due on Monday. Um, and then on the last page are the answers. Let me move myself out of the way. Here are the answers. Good luck.